1913, a Danish scientist by the name of Niels Bohr improved upon Rutherford's model of the atom. While Rutherford proposed that negatively charged electrons were held in orbit by the positively charged nucleus, he did not describe the location of the electrons. Niels Bohr proposed that electrons move in orbits around the nucleus. And he proposed that these orbital paths, or energy levels, are located at various distances from the nucleus. Today, we refer to Bohr's theory as the Bohr model of the atom. While today, scientists agree that electrons orbit the nucleus in energy levels, they do not do so in regular paths. Instead, electrons dart in ever-changing paths within energy levels. They form what is referred to as an electron cloud. The electron cloud represents the region where electrons would probably be found swirling around the nucleus of an atom. While neutrons and protons are small, electrons found swirling around the nucleus are even smaller. In fact, electrons are approximately one two thousandth the mass of a proton or neutron. While electrons are extremely small, they do have a charge, a negative charge. In atoms with an overall neutral charge, the number of electrons equals the number of protons. Electrons orbit the nucleus at extremely fast speeds. In fact, electrons may speed around the nucleus a billion times in one second. Scientists refer to the general space that electrons occupy as the electron cloud. The electron cloud can be thought of as similar to the space where bees are found swarming around a hive. Electrons are locked into certain areas within the electron cloud. These areas are called energy levels. Electrons with a relatively low amount of energy have their electrons located in energy levels close to the nucleus, whereas high energy atoms possess electrons located farther from the nucleus. The arrangement of electrons in energy levels is very important in determining how an atom will interact with other atoms.